Before we explore the mechanics of actually creating and managing a master report, let's have a look at what a master report actually is. So master reports in project 2013. Well, essentially, a master report is really just a project file that we allow ourselves to insert other projects into. So we have to have a project file that we can call a master report, master project, until we actually insert other projects into it, it's just a normal project file. But then we can take a project of our own and insert it. Now by insert, I mean create a link between. So our master project can actually now see and manage all the tasks within the sub project. Well, the beauty is you don't just have to insert one sub project, you can insert two, potentially three, potentially four, five, six, there's no limit. So you can insert a number of projects into one project file, see all those files and update all those files, assuming you've inserted the project, the sub project that is, with read write permissions, because you can insert it with just read only permissions, in which case you can view all these other projects in one place, but you cannot then do anything to them. So the master project gives us access to a number of projects at the same time. That's really only the start of this tool. As well as being able to access all these projects at the same time, we can now even create links between each of these projects. So project A can be linked to project B, project B can be linked to project C, and we can even link project C back to project A if we need to be. So predecessors and successors can exist between each of these projects, therefore making them dependent upon each other, allowing us to manage multiple projects but not have to have all of the tasks of those projects in a single place. So each of the sub projects could be managed by a separate person, but in the master project, we can oversee all those projects and create dependencies between all of those projects. And one of the powerful options for creating dependencies is for each of the projects to share a set of resources. So we could have a set of resources that is completely external to each of the sub projects and to the master project, but then we can link these resources, and this is called resource pooling, to each of the sub projects, and therefore make sure that person A is available in each of the projects when required and is not being over allocated. So we can actually manage the resource pool through our master project that is looking at each of the sub projects, because each of those sub projects is sharing the same set of resources, so the same set of people. That's the main issue with sharing resources, is the people side of things. Sharing material resources will just make life a little easier on typing and data entry, but when we get to allocation of work resources, and there is a finite item of work resources, then we need to know if we're trying to over allocate somebody. So that's a master project. The master project allows you to insert other projects inside of it, link those projects together and even manage a resource pool that each of those sub projects will then share.